Hi, I'm Michael Knight from iPro. It's time to get a little serious. Another segment of our Vintage Progression Series is Sit Up, Get Up. We're going to do three movements out of it. One of the things that drive me crazy, again, besides, can we do biceps? Is, can we do abs? People realize this. The day of the crunches is gone. It is gone. If they're bringing them in, they're not in my place. I'm not going to fight you against them. I'm just telling you that your abs are there if you learn how to eat. Your abs are engaged in any body movement you do. And right now, we're going to put the abs together with your core, your shoulders, and we're going to work them. Now, so one of the progressions, if there's an issue with the Turkish get-up, it's usually at the beginning. Because I always tell people, once you're up on your elbow, you're done. You're up. You, any weight you have in your hand will get you up. The problem is on that initial move. And this is the progression of the sit-up get-up that will lead to more success with the Turkish get up. A lot of instances, my clients will come down, they'll get set up nice and easy, and when they go to push up on that elbow, that foot comes up. That's what I'm gonna have to try to eliminate. That's a weakness in our upper ab region. We need to fix that. And this is the exercise that's gonna do it. So the same setup. The stronger you are, the closer the feet come together. I'm gonna come here, and again, I'm using our vintage barbell, but again, you can use a regular barbell, and I'll show you, you can use some dumbbells as well. Lock the elbows out, and you can see how my shoulder blades are extended. Remember I talked about that? Pull them back down. The bar is not over my eyes, it's not over my throat, it's over my sternum, like on a 45, and my eyes are going from my eyes to the bar to the ceiling. As I dig in, I punch, and as I come up, I get under the bar and I extend, and I try to sit up tall. As I come down, I lay, and the bar comes forward. Pull back, drive up, get under the bar, nice and high. See how my elbows are locked, my wrists are locked, not collapsing, I come down. Let's do one more. Up, and get under it. Again, this can be a barbell, vintage, or two dumbbells, doesn't matter the tool. Slowly come down, and lay it down. Okay, so that's the vintage sit up get up. On shoulder day, again, there's only so many shoulder exercises you can do. This one's gonna fry you out. So again, we, maybe there's a day we wanna go a little bit lighter. You're gonna see this in a circuit and it's gonna be demanding. If you don't have a barbell, we'll do it with dumbbells, but I'm gonna show it to you with the vintage barbell. So it's called a sit up get up with a press. Same setup, equally spaced, dig the heels in. Legs are flat, flexed, toes are at the ceiling. Shoulder blades are back, I punch, I get up, I get under it. Head out of the way, touch, push it back up, lay it back down. So there it is, sit up, get up, up. Move out of the way, touch, head back through, lay it back down, we do one more. Retract on the shoulder blades, punch, get up, get under it, move the head out of the way, Press to the clavicle, move back under it, and lay down. That's two. Okay, the last one again. We may be doing shoulders. I may want to work them a little differently. They're spent. I don't want to go heavy, and this is going to burn them no matter what. I'm looking for a rep range of about five when you see it in a circuit. So we've done the sit-up get-up. We've done the sit-up get-up with a press, and now we're going to put it together where it's a sit-up get-up, clean, and press. Remember when I told you this vintage series, how important it was? This is the mainstay. This is all the stuff we put on the other side of the stuff, and it all comes together for a circle. You just don't know what day it's going to show up on. So here we go. So the same setup. Separate your arms. Give me a nice base. Arms and elbows are locked. Shoulders are retracted down. Heels are dug in. Toes are wiggled. They're pointing at the toe, and they're flexed. I squeeze. Remember, I'm going to punch up. Get under the bar. Bring it down to the chest. Bring it down to the thighs. Thick grip up. Press it. Get under it and walk it down. The thick grip makes it a little more challenging. Even the little grip will make it a challenge, especially if the weights are going up. I punch up, I get under it. I bring it down to my clavicle, down to my thighs, grip it, <laughs> clean it back up, get under it, lay it back down, one more for good luck. Punch up, get under it, clavicle. Everything's tall, I'm sitting on my butt bones, up, clean it back up, press it and get back under it and lay it back down. You'll be hard pressed. If you buy it, you use it, and you go to the gym and use it, people are gonna go, what the hell did he find that at? Send them to MyPro.
We'll make it part of our team. I'm Mike Knight. See you in the circuits of MyPro.